Hi everyone, welcome to Live Blogger. This is the last video in our series where we are designing this pop up for our Blogger website. And in the last video, we added this code for pop up in our Blogger website. And the pop up was working all right, but every time a user goes to the home page, the pop up got displayed. So we want to make sure that the pop up gets displayed only once for a user. So let's get started. Now if you go to the JavaScript code of our pop-up and uh, if we add some variable over here, so for example if we say let pop-up displayed equals false and when we click on the pop-up close button we will set this variable to true and uh, here if we type pop-up displayed equals true. Let's go ahead and see the values in the console so we'll go to inspect and uh, We'll open the console over here. Alright, so now if we view the value of our variable pop-up displayed, we can see that the value is false. But if you click on the close button, and uh, now if we check pop-up displayed, we can see that the value is true. But once we refresh our page, now we can see that the value of pop-up displayed is false once again. So what happens over here is that every time we refresh our page, all our variables get reset. So we need to have some kind of mechanism to add this data to the user's computer. So if this data is added to the user's computer, we can then go ahead and choose whether we want to display this pop-up or not. So for that, we have an option in JavaScript called local storage. So if you use local storage, you can store some data in the user's browser. So let's see how to do that. We'll just delete this line of code. And now here we will add the code for local storage. So to add some data to local storage, all you have to do is type local storage dot set item. And then in parentheses, you have to have two arguments. The first one is the key and the second one is the value. So for the key, we will type pop-up displayed and for the value, we will type true. All right, so now let's refresh our page and see whether our data is stored in the local storage. So to view the data in the local storage, you have to go to inspect and then you have to go to application and then here we can see local storage and in that we see our website. So if you click on that, we can see that we don't have any data over here. But when we click on pop-up close, we can see this data is being added to the local storage. Now let me refresh the page. We can see that the page was refreshed, but the data is still here. So now we can use this data to decide whether we want to display the pop-up or not. So let me just delete this from here for now so that we can test it. And here in set timeout, we will add an if condition. So here we will type if local storage dot get item so we want to see whether we have this pop-up displayed inside the local storage so here we will type pop-up displayed and if you have pop-up displayed inside the local storage then we don't want to display this pop-up so what we'll do is we will negate this whole condition so if you add an exclamation mark over here this completely negates this condition. So now it says if the local storage doesn't have this pop-up displayed. So in that case, we want to display the pop-up. So we will add this code over here. Now let's refresh our page. And we'll also open the inspector. So we'll go to application. And here we are in the local storage. Now let's go ahead and click on close. And we have this data stored in the local storage. Now let's go ahead and refresh the page and see whether the pop-up gets displayed. So we can see after three seconds, the pop-up didn't get displayed. So this is how you display a pop-up only once to a user. Now the last thing we need to do is copy this code to our blogger website. So we'll just select all and copy this from here. And we'll go to our blogger website and click on theme, edit HTML, 
and uh, we'll go down to where we had written our code and we'll just replace this with the new code all right now let's click on save theme and let's view our blog and we can see our pop-up is displayed after three seconds now let's click on close and refresh our page again and we see that the pop-up is displayed only once and if you go to the inspect and if we go to application we can see inside the local storage we have this pop-up displayed through stored over here so this is how you can make sure that the pop-up is displayed only once to a user so that's basically it for this video if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and click on the like button if you enjoyed this video and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates thanks a lot for watching have a nice day